Hey everyone, it's Oli Lindley from One Number here, and today we're going to take a look at pivoting data in Tableau. The pivot function is a really useful little function to know how to use. It's really helpful when we want to shift our columns and our rows around so that we have one measure per column and one dimension per column. That's the basic structure that Tableau wants our data source to follow. So where it's not that, maybe a pivot could help you. And we're going to look at two examples uh, where a pivot is really helpful. Okay, so here's some survey data. We have a respondent, we have their age and a city. And then over here, we have a range of questions, six questions that we asked, and then here their response. So this is something like a Likert scale where they're ranked from one to five. Now you might be thinking, what exactly is the issue with this? That seems fine to me. Well, the limitation with our data source right now is that uh, if I wanted to ask who gave us the best score, uh, or perhaps who gave us the worst score, I'd put name on rows so that I can see all my respondents. But what would I do now? How could I see the total of all the scores given uh, for all the questions, you know, for the test? But because our data source is structured where every question number is its own column, I, I'm not able to use Tableau to give me that kind of information. So what I actually want to do is change this a little bit. I want to tweak things a little bit so that I've actually got two columns instead of six. And I want one column over here that's called question number or something. And then each of these, Q1, Q2, through to Q6, is going to sit on a row. Okay. And then to the right of that is going to be another column and that column is going to be called responses. And now all of these responses that are sitting in these rows are going to be all the way down here. So this is called a pivot because essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking my column headings, right? And the column names here are my dimension, actually. So a dimension needs to be in its own column, not spread across multiple columns. And what I'm going to do is pivot this or like turn it on its side so that it's sitting in a column all the way down. Okay, that's what we're aiming for. And I'll show you how to do that. So I'm going to select all the fields that I want to pivot. I'm going to hit the drop down and select pivot. And now you can see, well, we have a lot more rows, but that's because now there's a new row for every question number per respondent. So that's fine, nothing to worry about. And this seems to be following exactly what we're looking for. So I'm going to rename this uh, question number and I'll rename pivot field values to be, I don't know, responses or score or something like that. And now I can answer my question by putting sum of responses on columns and I can see, okay, Aaron gave us the highest score, whereas Sam gave us the lowest score. So that's one instance where that's really helpful. But what about looking at one more? So instead of some survey data, this is some sales data. So we're running a market and we have various customers who've come to our market and they bought different quantities of different things. And so we can see, okay, what do we have? Well, similar situation, right? We have a dimension that's split across multiple columns and in our rows uh, on actually, it's not a dimension. These actually are sales numbers. So to make sense of this data in Tableau, we would want one column of sales and then one column that's like item purchased or something like that, you know, items uh, to be our first column, the dimension. So let's try and do that. Um, what have I done? Okay. So here I'm going to select all our columns. I'm going to hit the drop down and I'm going to pivot those. Okay. So again, pivot field names is going to be renamed and this is going to be items and pivot field values is going to be sales. And so now all I've done is I've cleared up to Tableau. I've got a bunch of items. Those are dimensions. We're not, we're not counting those. And then my sales is a measure. I am counting those. And so now we can see for all our items, you know, how much did we sell per item? and we can compare all of those together. So I hope that this has been helpful. If you're in a situation where you're looking at your data source and you have a dimension split across multiple columns, pivoting is going to be the tool for you. 
if you've watched this video and you've thought that really doesn't solve my my issue, you might need uh, some help for a slightly more complex situation. Check out our preparing data for Tableau webinar that I'll link in the description. Thank you so much.